Thierry Colville is a uh, research fellow at the French Institute for uh, International and Strategic Affairs. And he joins us live from Paris. Thierry, thank you very much for your time. Good to see you there. Um, how does Iran's relationship with France differ from its relationship with other EU countries? Uh, I think uh, there have been up and downs. You know, uh, if you look at uh, the last 30 years, uh, uh, the relations were quite very friendly at the beginning of the revolution because Imam Khomeini was, you know, living in France before revolution. And then, you know, France uh, stood mainly with Saddam Hussein when Saddam Hussein attacked Iran, so the relation broke down. Then it got better in, in the 90s with more economic trade, more trade relationship. And then again, it broke down, you know, due to nuclear issues. So there have been a lot of up and downs. And you know, there are hopes that, you know, with France and Iran start with new partnership. Do you think that it's symbolic that Rouhani is in France and, and, and Italy as well first? Or is it just that, you know, he's just chosen France as a starting point? Do you expect to see him crisscrossing all over the EU now striking deals? Or is he going to be particularly focusing on France? You know, yes, I, I think what I have heard, you know, Iran wants to have better relations with Europe. You know, uh, Europe was the biggest trade partner before the sanctions. Uh, Germany, for example, has, you know, historically always the uh, highest market share in Iran, so there have been a lot of European delegations. So I think, you know, Iranians are pragmatic. They want to, you know, have competition to take the best price, to, to take the opportunity of more competitions. Obviously, in some sectors like, you know, construction, you know, uh, aeronautics, uh, the car industry, uh, France had a very good image in Iran, so obviously Iranian you know, in this sector, they want to go on with the France partnership. And France gains as well, I guess? Sorry, I did not hear. France gains from all this as, as well, I guess. Um, how? Can you just explain to us what's in it for France? Sorry, I didn't hear you well. I'm sorry. Uh, I wondered what, what is France getting from this, if you, can, if you can still hear me on the line. I mean, France must be gaining from all of this as well. For, for more trade, you say? Yes. Are we we... Okay. Yeah, obviously, the, you know, the, it's, it's a, it's a win-win. I suppose it's, no, it's a win-win relationship. Uh, you know, the, a, a, car, a company like Peugeot was selling more for and for uh, 150,000 cars a, a year in Iran. And they, had, they decided to leave the Iranian market. It cost them thousands of jobs in France. So, as you know, the economic situation is, let's say, not good in France. Such a market, close to France, you know, we have good image, 80 million people, no payment issues in Iran. It's, it's obviously, honestly, looking at the risk, it's a very good opportunity for French companies. Okay, uh, Thierry Coville, thank you very much for your time here on TRT World.